Hey everyone, this is springtime and today I'm going to show you a few beginner moves and we're going to put everything together and have a little combo today, a beginner combo. First thing we're going to go over is the dagger spin. Then we're going to take it into a sit and if we're comfortable in our sit, we're going to take it into a layback. And by the way, I'm on spin pole today. Okay, first we're gonna go over the dagger spin. So the dagger is not an intro move, it's a beginner move. So if you're having trouble with the dagger, I want you to practice your dip or step around first because it's gonna help you to really strengthen that inside top arm. I have another tutorial on the dip. I can link it down below if you need. Now for our dagger setup. First things first, nice posture. Open up that chest, shoulders slightly back and down, engage that core, think nice and tall. Inside arm, I'm gonna have my right. It's gonna be nice and high, the arm next to the pole. Remember, pull that pole down into the ground. Don't relax here, don't ever hang. It's not good for your shoulder. I'm gonna grab that pole, Handshake grip, right? Like I'm reaching out for a handshake. Pull that pole down into the floor, shoulder back and down, nice and engaged. I'm gonna have my outside left arm across, kind of below my chest, and I'm gonna slightly push the pole away here, right? And I wanna be thinking always push the chest away from the pole, forward and out. You don't want to go toward the pole. You want to push, have the chest facing as forward as possible. Now what's happening with my legs? I'm going to take a little step with that inside foot, right? Just like my dip setup, if you've done the dip before. Take that outside left leg out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bend that inside leg slightly and turn the knee out. Turn the knee, the toes, the hip out. In, out. Then I'm gonna swing that left leg out and around the pole. Draw like a half circle, right? With this leg on the floor. Once I go for my little swing, Right, little swing because this one will spin you very fast if you're on spin pole like me. Once I do my little swing, I'm gonna pick up that right leg, pick it up. I'm gonna hook it on the inside of my thigh here and the outside of my shin here. Right, so always remember you want the pole on the inside of the thigh, right, this area here. And I have that hip turned out. And that's why naturally, all I have to do is pick up the leg and I'm already here and I bend at the knee, bam, right there. And I'm gonna press into my thigh, press the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. That outside leg is kicking back, right? So a lot of glute activation here in my left glute, left leg, left glute, right? Nice and straight. If it's too difficult, you can bend the back leg for like a stag variation. It's a little easier. Let's try it together. So I step right leg, right arm high, left arm across, pulling the pole down, pushing it away, swing the outside leg, Hook the inside, open the chest, 
I like to dip my head back a little for a little arch. Also, you can do the stack. To get out, swing that outside leg. Bring it toward the floor, step down, and unhook that inside leg. I like to swing it around, crisscross, and I just slide it forward, and I can step into my next move. I can do a walk or another trick I, I know. sit. So my sit is exactly what the name sounds. It looks like I'm sitting, right? And I have the pole in between my thighs. Let me show you here. I'm going to do basic sit, no spin. I'm going to come here. This is my basic beginner sit. This is what I want you to work on first. So both knees bent. I always say, think about how a lady sits. She crosses her knees. And then I'm gonna squeeze here the thighs. So very important with the sit. I'm gonna show you straight on so you can see. I'm gonna have my right knee on top. So I'm at a little angle here. I'm not, my hips are not straight and square here. So I'm gonna go for my sit. And you can see the right knee is high, the right hip is high, and I'm leaning over to the left. I want you to really lean over. Same thing with the other side. If the left is high, you're gonna lean over to the right. This is gonna help you with your grip, this little um, lean out here. So let's say I'm here, right? If I go straight on and I face the pole and I'm not leaning out, you see here, I didn't change anything, how much I'm squeezing my legs. My grip is not as solid. So that's why you really want to lean over to the side. Also, you can open the chest. Looks nicer than just here. You want to lean out, open the chest, so take your time with this one. This one just requires um, repetition and patience. You have to get used to gripping the pole in your thighs here. It's a little sensitive here. So at first it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. Just go easy at it, um, practice it, but don't overdo it and try both sides. So now I'm gonna try my basic sit. I'm gonna grab the pole, give myself a little pull up, right? Shoulders back and down. I'm gonna pick which leg I'm gonna have on top. So it's gonna be my right. Bend both knees, right? Cross the knees, sit like a lady. And I'm gonna lean over to the left side. Lean, if that right knee is on top, the right arm is on top, I can release the left. If I feel comfortable, I can have that right inside arm bent like this, or I can reach it up high. Up to you. Now, once you're comfortable with this, you can try to straighten that bottom leg. Okay, this is the next step. So now we have the bottom leg straight, the top leg is still bent. From here, if I feel okay, I can go into my layback. All the layback is, is I'm bringing the hands down because I need to lean back and open the chest. And I'm gonna give it a little arch. Remember, you're always leaning over to the side. So I just lean out, dip the chest back, and pull up. If you feel comfortable, you can release the outside arm, the left arm. So again, I dip back 
and pull it back. If that's good, what's more challenging is you can straighten both legs. So here I'm straightening my legs, but I still have both ankles crossed. This is going to help me keep the grip here on my thighs. And I can go for my layback. A harder variation, you can bend the top leg. And pull back toward the pole. together the basic beginner variations so I'm gonna step go into my dagger go into my sit then my lay back then we're gonna dismount I'm gonna start back here so you can see me step and hook into my dagger so I'm gonna have the right arm high left arm across step with that right foot swing the leg hook that right leg, go for my dagger, both arms here, pull up that left leg, right leg on top, bend, bend for my sit, or keep the bottom leg straight, right, open up here. Then I'm gonna grab the pole, slide the hands down, open up for my lay back, arch. Now I'm going to pull myself back toward the pole, release my cross here, bend the knees, reach high, and I'm going to bring the feet down nice and slow onto the ground into a little squat. Then I'm just going to come up right, however I want. I always like to lean over to one side, so I lean that hip over and I come up just to give it a little something interesting. And it doesn't matter which side. You can do either. Now I'm gonna show you the more advanced variation. Inside arm high, outside arm across, swing that left leg, hook the inside leg, extend out that outside arm, reach, pull up, Cross the ankles, straight legs for my sit. Lower the hands, release the outside arm. Go for your lay back. You can bend the top leg if you want. Pull back toward the pole. Bend at the knees. Slowly float down, bring the feet down. And come up. Thank you guys so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new so now practice the other side we want to do both sides as equally as possible so both sides are nice and strong and nice and balanced and always remember pole is about having fun so have fun happy polling mm -hmm.